Fall is one of my favorite times of the year, but I know how challenging it can be to keep up your healthy eating habits when the weather starts to cool down and holiday temptations start to pop up. That's why I created this Easy Fall Reset. It's a five-day meal plan loaded with plant-based recipes to help you feel your best during this busy season. I've done my best to make this as easy as possible for you by providing a step-by-step -step meal prep guide to go along with each meal plan in this program. Today I'm going to show you how quick and easy the meal prep portion can be. I've got my meal prep guide here all ready to go, so you can see that the guesswork and planning has already been done for you. To get started, I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees, and now I'm going to peel and cut a butternut squash into one inch chunks. I'm saving a pound of this to go into my savory butternut squash salad, and I'm going to roast the rest of it to use on top of my creamy spiced oatmeal in the morning. The squash needs to roast until it's tender, which can take about 30 minutes. So this is the first step in the guide to make sure all the rest of my meal prep finishes up at about the same time. While the squash is roasting, I'm going to get started on the pumpkin and sage soup. This soup is pretty quick to prepare because you only need to saute an onion before you add in the rest of the ingredients. I'm not using the whole box of vegetable broth in this recipe, so I'm going to use the cup that's left over to cook a small batch of quinoa on the stove, which will cook at the same time as the soup. The vegetable broth will help add a little more flavor, and then I can serve the quinoa on top of the soup for added texture and a complete source of plant-based protein. Okay, you see how I'm multitasking here? I've got my butternut squash roasting away in the oven, I've got my soup and my quinoa cooking on the stove, and now my hands are free to finish making that savory butternut squash salad using the reserved squash that I cut up in the first step. I'm pulsing the squash in the food processor to give it a rice-like texture, and then you just have to stir in the rest of the ingredients and let it marinate in the fridge. It makes such an easy packed lunch for a busy week. Now the butternut squash is roasted, the soup has simmered, and the quinoa is tender. I'm going to add a bit of coconut milk to the soup for creaminess, and then I'm going to use up the rest of the can in my creamy spiced oatmeal for breakfast. You can assemble that now into individual jars so that it's easily portioned and heated up in the morning, and I like to serve that roasted butternut squash over the top to make it more filling and more nutritious. At this point, I already have my breakfast, lunch, and dinner prepared for the next few days, but I'm also going to squeeze in a quick snack by whipping up my curried almond dip. This easy dip is made with warming curry spice, so it's a nice contrast when you serve it with crunchy vegetables. I've accomplished all of this meal prep in less than 45 minutes, and now I'm all set for the next few days. I like to prep as I go throughout the week so I'm not in my kitchen for more than an hour at any given time, but if you only have a chance to meal prep over the weekend and you want to get a head start on the rest of your meals for later in the week, you can go ahead and prep your carrot noodles, make a batch of pumpkin seed pesto, and even make a few smoothie bags that you can store in the freezer so that they're ready to dump in your blender for a fast smoothie in the morning. I hope this fall reset will be a helpful resource for you. And for more fall inspiration, be sure to check out the recipes on my website, detoxanista.com.